Are you weak on your core with tightness on your hip muscles? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. Join me for a lovely vinyasa flow targeting our core and improving the flexibility and mobility of our hips. So get your mat ready and join me. My friends, let's start on your hands in this position. Hands level to your shoulders, knees level to your hips. Let's warm up our shoulders and low back muscles by doing a gentle cat and camel. As you round your shoulders, belly button in, belly curl. Exhale, slowly lower your chest. Bend your elbows so you can go further down. As you look up, exhale and arch your low back as you breathe out. Inhale, round. Exhale. Lower yourself down. Six more. Inhale. Round as you lower your chest. Elbows to a camera. Inhale to the angry cat. Chin tuck. Pelvic curl. Exhale. Look up. Three more. As you breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Feel so good on your spine to warm up slow and steady. We're gonna do a lovely flow for our spine. Exhale, last one my friends. Inhale. Exhale, now grab the mat with your toes. To slowly lift your knees up for a downward dog. As you inhale, slowly march left and right, pedaling left and right to stretch your hamstrings and calves. Inhale and exhale. Pressing your hands, pressure on your forearm, inner forearm, all the way through your thumbs. Engaging your upper back as you breathe in and breathe out. We're going to do a lovely series of alternating downward dog to upward facing dog. As you roll around your shoulder, tippy toes to your heels up. As you inhale, slowly lower your chest down. To an upward facing dog as you breathe out and look up grab the mat again we'll do this five rounds inhale downward dog and then slowly lower your chest engaging your upper back for a lovely flow of upward facing dog breathe out round up to downward dog tippy toes over Lower your hips to an upward facing dog. And look up, stretch your low back and your neck as you look up. Grab the mat with your toes, two more. Round, tip your toes. And slightly bend your elbows for a lovely engagement of your upper back. Last one. Inhale, round. And exhale again. Tip your toes over, slowly lower your chest and then your hips and look up or upward facing now as you breathe out. Now the next second flow series, we're gonna go back to downward dog again. And this time we're going for vinyasa flow with a pigeon. So as you look up, Tippy toes, round, slowly lower your hips down, upward facing dog, again, and then back to downward dog, and then pigeon stretch, place your right knee first, lower your hips down, and look up. We'll do five rounds. Grab the mat with your left toes as I bend my knee, right knee in front of me, lift my right foot to place it back to downward dog. Stretch your upper back, tippy toes, engage your upper back, slowly lower your hips to upward facing dog. Breathe out. Back to downward dog. Then place your right knee between your hands for a pigeon stretch and look up and breathe out. Three more, lift again. Grab the mat with your toes. Downward dog. 
tippy toes, round your shoulders, lower your hips down, upward facing dog. Grab the mat and then pigeon stretch. Two more, lift up, upward dog, lower your hips to upward facing dog. Lift your hips and to pigeon stretch with your right knee and look up as you breathe out. Last set on your right knee, downward dog. And then lower your hips down to upward facing dog as you breathe out. Back to downward dog to position for a pigeon stretch. Well done. Okay, my friends, now we're gonna target your left knee for a pigeon stretch. So back to downward dog. Tippy toes. Upward facing dog as you breathe out. Inhale to downward dog. Position your left knee between your hands for a left pigeon stretch. And look up and breathe out. Grab the mat with your right toes to help you lift your left knee to downward dog. Tippy toes, upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward dog. Position your left knee between your hands for a pigeon stretch on your left glutes. Exhale, breathe out. Three more. Grab the mat with your right toes to lift. Position your feet together for a downward dog. Tip your toes to transition to upward facing dog. As you breathe out, back to downward dog to position your left knee for a pigeon stretch. And breathe out. Two more. Inhale. Downward dog. Upward facing dog. As you breathe out. Downward dog. And position your left knee for a pigeon stretch. Last stretch. So that's flow number two. Flow number three, we're gonna start again from the beginning combination of downward dog, upward facing dog, pigeon stretch, and we're gonna do a side stretch. Now grab the mat with your right toes to position back to downward dog. It's a lot of flow today. It's a great way to start your day or to, to end your day. So downward dog, tippy toes, lower your hips down, upward facing dog as you breathe out. Downward dog, position your right knee between your hands this time for a pigeon stretch. Now slowly position to the side. Reach for your left foot, overhead to stretch, side stretch. And breathe out. Inhale back to the mat. Pigeon stretch, position your left foot, and then downward dog. Again, let's do the flow again. Tippy toes, round your shoulders, lower your hips down, upward facing dog as you breathe out. Downward dog, position your right knee between your hands to a stretch and then slowly face me forward. Reach for your left foot, keep your left knee straight for us. Overhead side stretch and breathe out. Back again to pigeon stretch. Lift your right knee to downward dog. Upward facing dog as you breathe out. Back to downward dog. Position your right knee for pigeon stretch. Slowly go face forward for a lovely side stretch and breathe. Back to the mat. Downward dog, two more to go. Press your chest down, tippy toes for upward facing dog, lower your hips down and look up as you breathe out. Downward dog, right knee between your hands. Pigeon stretch, transition to side stretch. And breathe out. And now you can go further down if you can. 
back to the mat last set of vinyasa flow downward dog tippy toes upward facing dog as you breathe out downward dog between your right knee between your hands your right knee pigeon stretch and then side stretch and breathe out now let's transition to the other side with your left knee this time downward dog upward facing dog downward dog place your left knee between your hands for a pigeon stretch slowly extend and reach for your right foot this time with your right hand and side stretch and breathe out back to downward dog lift your left knee back foot together downward dog dip it toes to upward facing dog breathe out downward dog left knee between your hands and then side stretch over back to the mat downward dog upward facing dog inhale downward dog pigeon stretch and then side stretch over two more downward dog upward facing dog downward dog left knee between your hands for a pigeon stretch last one for a side stretch and breathe out back to the mat downward dog and this time for the next flow we're gonna do a low lunge downward dog upward facing dog downward dog place your left foot between your hands for low lunge and then reach for your right foot for a deeper stretch Place your hand back to the mat. Lift your left hand back. Downward dog. Upward facing dog. Back to downward dog. And this time your right foot for a long lunge. Lower your left knee. Reach for your left foot for a deep stretch. Get your balance. Inhale. And exhale. Now back to the mat. We'll do this two more rounds. Downward dog, upward facing dog. You might be tight now on your hands and your core muscles at the same time, your flexibility. Downward dog, left foot forward, lower your right knee for a low lunge. Reach for your right foot, reach for your right foot, slow and steady, and deep stretch. Pull your foot as much as you can towards your glutes. And lower it down. Lift it back. Downward dog. Upward facing dog. Downward dog. Right foot between your left hands. Between your hands. And then lift your foot up for a deep stretch. As much as you can. Inhale and exhale. Now I'm gonna slowly transition. For pyramid stretch, extend your right knee and forward fold. Inhale and exhale, hold this in three deep breaths. Cooling down now for a lovely pyramid stretch. Keeping your spine straight. Forward your feet, your left foot together for a forward fold. As much as you can, slightly bend your knees for beginners, keeping your back straight. Get your balance. Inhale. And exhale. Now extend your right foot back. And then extend your left knee for a pyramid stretch. This time with your left knee straight. Feel that lovely stretch in your left calf and hamstrings. Inhale and exhale. 
This was an intense flow that we did today to energize your day. Place your foot back forward again or forward fold. Keeping your back straight, keeping your, you don't want to hunch your back. You're targeting your hamstrings and your calves and your glutes. Place your hands on the mat for stability. If you can reach the floor, you can place your hands behind your calves or your hamstrings. Whatever you can tolerate for a stretch. Now place your left foot back again. And this time, we're going to do a triangle pose with your knee bent. Slowly lift your left hand up, pointing to the ceiling. Look up. Get that balance. Inhale and exhale. Feels so good to stretch. Last deep breath in. Place it down to the mat. And we're going to do a warrior pose. With your right knee bent. Leaning forward as much as you can and hold it in three deep breaths. Last deep breath in. And now switch to the other side, warrior one to the left knee this time. Extend your right knee and then bend your left knee. Inhale and exhale. Two more deep breaths. Last deep breath in, slowly lower your head. Both hands down, lower your knee for our lung. And we're gonna do a lovely triangle stretch in this one. So with your, lift your right knee, slowly lift your right hand up for a triangle pose on your left side. Hold that in three deep breaths. Last deep breath in. And exhale. Now we're gonna slowly sit down to the mat. Cross your legs if you can, if you need the yoga blocks to support your back. And we're gonna do a gentle stretch with your arms to rest, palms out, open, palms up, extend your elbows, shoulder level, look up gently. And then pulling my thumbs back towards behind me, I'm engaging my scapular muscles. Inhale and then exhale, reach up to the heavens and breathe out. Close your eyes if you like. Palms down again, level your hands, palms up towards the ceiling, and your thumbs facing back. And pulling my shoulders back, engaging it beautifully. Inhale. As you exhale, reach up to the heavens and place your hands together. Exhale. Last one, lower your arms down to the side with your palms facing up, thumbs pointing back, fingers open to stretch your fingers, and your shoulders pulling back, engaging your upper back as you breathe in. And breathe out, reach to the heavens, hands together, and slowly lower to your heart to end this program. Namaste. I'm hoping you enjoy this lovely vinyasa flow to energize the day, to strengthen your core, and to improve the flexibility and mobility of your hips. If you love this video want to learn more about Pilates Yoga, physical therapy, health and wellness, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Like and share this video, every like you give to my channel, you're supporting me. If you have any questions, suggestions or concerns, leave a comment down below or direct message me on my social media and I'll try my best to answer each one of you. I'll be reopening and relaunching my back master class for those anyone who has back pain, to regain life without back pain, to have a stronger core and improved posture. If you're interested, click the link below, be part of my early bird wait list for a first come, first serve basis for a small intimate class. Always remember, be safe, be well and healthy. See you in my next video training. Bye.